So you might be trying to go ahead and remove your voicemail on your Android device. Now doing this is fairly easy, but it totally depends on which carrier you have. Now if you have, you know, AT&T, Verizon, whoever it is, your best bet is to go ahead and call your specific carriers and, you know, just let them know that, hey, I want to go ahead and disable my voicemail. And that is going to go ahead and allow them to go ahead and remove the voicemail from your specific account. Now there's ways to do this around, I think, your Android phone, but that is the best way of just doing it the easiest way possible. And from there, you'll basically be able to go ahead and remove your voicemail. Now, for some reason that doesn't work or you don't want to go that, down that route, another option you have is opening up your phone application within your Android phone. So just like how I opened it up right here, you want to go and click on the top three dots down in the top right corner. So click on the three dots right here. You want to go ahead and click on the voicemail button, which is right there. Now, when you do that, it's going to say add a voicemail number. Now here, all you want to do, it, you probably already have a voicemail number associated. So in this case, I'm just going to click cancel. But for you, you would probably, you know, get into a different page, which will show your voicemail number. And you can go ahead and remove your voicemail that way as well. So that is another option. Another thing you can try doing is making your way over to your settings application. You want to go ahead and get into, you can just pretty much search for a voicemail up here. So just like how I did it, you can just search for a voicemail. And when you do that, you'll see some things like your voicemail number here, which you can go ahead and, you know, if you have any option of removing it, you can try doing it there. It'll also take you to the same spot if you click here. You can click on voicemail right there and you can go ahead and see if there's any options for you to remove it. But like I mentioned, the main way to do it is to go ahead and call your provider and let them know that you want to cancel your voicemail and that'll pretty much do it from there. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.